Oh god, I don't care what you do, you can hold them up. I assess it as I'm just proud. I'm proud of the team. I'm proud of the way that the team operated. Um, they supported each other. They, you know, we delivered performances. And, uh, and those that, you know, maybe didn't achieve what they wanted to, they were supported by the team. And, uh, and that's what we're all about. So for me, I'm just I'm very privileged to be, be part of uh, the leadership. I said before, I, I want to thank Anna and her team again. Oh, I don't really have a response for that. I think, um, you know, I, <clears throat> at the, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> Swimming Australia and working with World Aquatics and WADA just to, to get the system better, I think, is, is what we're, we're aiming for. We're all about clean sport, and we hope that everybody that's competed at the Olympics is clean, and, um, and that's, that's, that's where we sit with it. It, the goalposts have been shifted now. It's not about swimming 46.9. Uh, that was the world record for so long and something that I saw that I could achieve, hopefully, uh, one day in my career. But now the, now the world record is 46.4. So, like I said, I train so hard, but I'm going to have to train even harder now to be competitive with him, uh, both in relays and in the individual race. But um, it was amazing. Like, being in that race, I didn't think I've ever been beaten by a body length in my entire career. And, uh, and I was breathing towards him. I guess that last 15 metres and I could see his feet and I thought that I was having the worst race in my swimming career because I was so far behind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.